first movie is It Happened One Night, winner of five Academy Awards, 1934 Best Picture, directed by Frank Capra. This movie was made in 1934, and the chemistry that Clark Gable and Claudette have together on screen is still like radiating almost 100 years later. There's so much quick, witty dialogue between the characters, and it's still some really funny laughs. You know, a lot of unique storytelling that, yeah, it's some of it's become cliche now. Watching this in present day, it's still, you know, it's the legend. It's the, it's the one that started it all. It's got the one up above anything else coming after it. And this was made uh, pre-code where they weren't allowed to show kissing back in the 30s and they weren't allowed to show any sort of, you know, close intimate scenes were sort of frowned upon and not allowed. So in this in the movie, the, they have to get a hotel room together and they get two beds and then they put this rope across and put blankets over it and it becomes the walls of Jericho, which becomes a running joke in the movie and, and a key piece of the movie. So I thought that was very interesting. They don't actually show any kissing. They don't show any physical contact. Actually, they, they show like cuddling, cuddling in, in, in a hay field and over hay and stuff. But I thought it was it interesting that you, you could still, you still buy into the romance without the sex, without the kissing, without the, the passion or romantic makeout stuff. You, you still buy into it. The way that the, that Capra directs around like the censorship and stuff is genius. I mean, especially like the final shot is, you have this couple talking and then who are those people in that room you know they seem to be getting along just nicely and then you see like the blanket come off the walls of jericho it's actually a pivotal scene where clark gable was about to he got his new story he's going to go back to his regular life and he's wondering like why why haven't i met somebody and you have you're married and you you're getting married whatever you're getting remarried you're renouncing you're you're about to have this like huge wedding you know where where's my sweetheart he's saying this monologue to this blanket but claudette's across the way listening and she ends up coming over and confessing like oh she she wants to be with him and all this stuff but they they can't so they end up parting and some time goes by and then there's this big wedding in the newspaper and they go to separate separate ways but the point is i i really felt their connection even with the restraints of the censorship and stuff so it's it's another example of like you can definitely choreograph a scene and still have romantic ties no matter what the restraints are this is a 4k i believe it's new to 4k there is a criterion version of it happened one night but this is the 4k uhd with the blu-ray i have to say this is something that the that the columbia volume 3 is loaded with is extra movies and extra tv shows and stuff this comes with you can't run away from it. 1956 remake of It Happened One Night, starring June Allison and Jack Lemmon, newly remastered in HD. So that's that's very interesting. I did not know that there was a remake with uh, Jack Lemmon and June Allison. That's that's something to watch. And it's like you know you're getting two movies here essentially. Then on the Blu-ray disc, there's a commentary by Frank Capra Jr. Frank Capra Jr. remembers It Happened One Night, the screwball comedy featurette, original live radio broadcast. So. Before there was podcasts, there was radio broadcast, and before there was audiobooks. I, I imagine this is probably closer to an audiobook as far as a radio broadcast of It Happened One Night. Let me know, guys, if you've seen It Happened One Night and what you think of it. I think it's still a classic. Still, still great. And thanks again for watching. This has been Return of the Disc. I'm Dan. For more Return of the Disc, visit returnofthedisc.com. Check out the audio version of today's show, available on all major podcast platforms. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.